finally um tried out the Avon um hair uh, dye and um I really liked it. The first thing that impressed me about it was the smell. It smelled really good. Usually hair dyes smell funny. And even if they put perfume in it, you can, it still kind of smells funny. But this one smells so good. Um, it, I, for, I think I paid like $8 for it. Um, I can't remember. <laughs> and, um, but it came with like a pre-treatment that you put on your already dyed hair. So that it doesn't do that much damage. Uh, I only meant to do my roots. So I only put it on top. And... Um, there was just so much in the bottle that I wound up putting it all over my hair. And I didn't put the protector on it. So my hair is a little bit dried out now. But I cut, I tried to cover the hair so it would be an even color. I got the deep burgundy. It covered the roots beautifully. Uh, it gave me a really dark color, which is my color. Maybe I should have waited till the fall. Because I, I had that reddish blonde highlight going there. I just got them all out with that. So, I mean, it was really good. It covered the roots. It covered all my all my silver. It covered, like, everything. Um, so, yeah. Um, I, I want to try that keratin treatment, I think, next week. I'm not sure if I'm going to straighten my hair. I'm, it, if anybody could tell me, if I use the keratin treatment without straightening my hair, will it just take out the frizz and leave the curls? Because that's what I would prefer. But I'm thinking of trying that one next week, that coconut keratin. But I also got um, your hair in the sun gets damaged too. And since the sun is so harsh here, that's why my hair went like reddish blonde where the bleach was because the sun is so harsh. And I usually keep it up when I'm outside because it's so hot. But um, I got this anti-fade UV spray. I, I don't care about the dye fading. I just want to protect my hair from damage. So um, I sprayed this a couple of times on my hand. It feels and smells good. It didn't like weigh it down. Um, but um, I just dyed it yesterday. And I was just trying it out this week. So I'm going to keep trying this out and let you know, you know what I think of it. It's just supposed to protect your hair. But I didn't put the protectant, so my hair's kind of dry right now on the on the rest of my hair. And it still has a lot of the red in it. But anyway, so I'll let you know, I did like it. But most likely, I will continue to use the Revlon because it's only like $3.50, um, maybe $4, depending on where you go. And Because I have to dye my hair. I have to do my hair every three weeks. So, you know, it gets expensive. So I think I'm going to stick to the Revlon. But just in case you're interested, I really did like the Avon one. Um... So yeah, I think that's it. I'm almost done with uh, my paperwork and I can get to organizing this week. So I'm like so relieved about that. So yeah, so that's it. I will see you next week with my, um, the next color of the rainbow, yellow. Bye.